A number of national statistics offices have a variety of interactive and dynamic visualizations available. For example, let's look at the statistical office of the Republic of Slovenia. We can get to this website either by using the URL and going directly or simply by typing into Google Statistics Slovenia. Once we're on the web page, move down until you see Interactive Tools. This tells us of the variety of interactive tools that are available. The Interactive Atlas, First and Family Names, Population Clock, Database of Birthdays, Population Pyramid, Cartograms and Place Names. Let's go back and double click on the interactive statistical atlas. Click again on the icon. This is a little slow, but be patient, it is coming on its way. What we will see in a minute is an atlas of Slovenia with the regions indicated and on the left a selection of indicators which can be displayed on the map. These indicators range from population, unemployment, education, earnings, crime, business, construction, transport, agricultural, environment, and territorial units. Alongside each of these indicators is one or more other variables. For example in unemployment we can have registered unemployment with still more variables available, shares by education with levels of education available etc. Let us choose for example population density to display. Just the total population density. The highest density areas will be indicated in dark green, the lowest density in blue. And here we can see that the highest density areas are where the major cities of Slovenia are. This is where the capital city Ljubljana is. Let's go back and choose another variable. Let's look at environment, water supply to households. This time we're seeing where there's the highest percentage of households that have their water supplied from public water supplies. The highest density areas here are not around the major cities but up here in the Alpine region of Slovenia. The next highest density is here in the plains, the agricultural area of Slovenia, and the lowest is down here towards the coast and the border with Croatia. So there is a slight mismatch between where the water is and where the population lives. We can resize this map and zoom in and out we can look at one area in particular and break that down into smaller areas within. This is an extremely useful feature and allows us to display a wide number of variables and to compare them visually on a map. I encourage you to look at some of the other visualizations that are available both on this website and on other National Statistics Office websites, such as the Federal Statistical Office of Germany.